He may be a little guy, but he's got a big attitude. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Ocular Max Helion. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we do have some window packaging. He is packed in car mode. There we have Helion. His name is Helion. He is a warrior. On the top of the box, we have Helion. On the side, Helion. On the other side, Helion. On the bottom, things and stuff. And warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And on the back of the box, you have Transform. And you also have a very g one -y deck spec card with a bio if you want to read it and you do also get an old school deck spec decoder so that's that's a thing <laughs> kind of cool and that's basically it for the packaging also included is the collector's card with a nice image there of helion and on the back again you have that bio if you want to read it. You have the text specs again. Hooray for cards. Then moving right along, here we have Helion, which is Ocular Max's take on Cliff Jumper. And um I have mixed feelings about this toy. I really I don't know how to feel about it. I like it, but there are things about it that I really don't like. I don't know. But um here he is in his vehicle mode. He's a little red car, and this is definitely more in keeping with the uh, kind of G1, cartoony G1 toy look of the vehicle he is uh, based on. And we're getting close here so we can take a look at the details. You can see the headlights done in a transparent blue plastic. Got the plate there. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy, sir! He's Cobra Kai. He's Cobra Kai through and through. And you can see the silver rims. Got that nice blue tinted transparent plastic there for the windshield and the windows and the back it's a nice black trim around that rear rear windshield and the rear tail lights are done in a red transparent plastic and again you got the plate strike first strike hard no mercy sir and you have the tailpipe there picked out in silver there's the top there's the bottom. Everything is pretty well hidden. He does roll as rolling things should, and he rolls very smoothly, too. He rolls like a dream. Just very, very smooth rolling. So, there you have that. Then, for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee. So, you can see how they look side by side. So, there you have that. And here he is with the X Transbots version of Cliff Jumper. Now, as you can see, X Transbots decided to go real world with the vehicle that Cliff Jumper is based off of, while Ocular Max decided to go with more the cartoon G1 toy version, which is just a squished up version of this car. Now, some other details to point out. He does have uh, opening doors. You do actually get. A nice little interior. You do actually have seats in there. A little steering wheel, console, even a little gear shift there in the middle. Um, this is the little spike figure that came with MP10, and I was wondering, oh, would he fit in here? And uh, no, he wouldn't fit in here. He's little. He's too big. He's he's too big. You can kind of cram him in there. That's yeah. No, that's nah. Spike don't fit in here. And I thought, well, how about a Titan Master, would a Titan Master fit in there? They're a little bit smaller, but yeah, no, not really. So, uh, can't really fit anything in there, but still cool. It actually has uh, a nice interior there. So, I dig that. It's quite a feat when they can manage to give the car an actual car interior as opposed to just filling it up with robot parts, so I do quite appreciate that. Now, he does include some accessories for vehicle mode, and it's basically his... Uh, Little water ski parts, which involves all of this here. So you have this front bumper section, which is just done all in silver. And this will just tab in to the front right there. Just tabs into all of those slots, like so. And then you take the water skis here, you can see, done with some nice silver paint. And these will just plug right in to the center 
of the rim, like so. And you just plug them in all around, and all around, all around, and all around, like so. And the last thing you're going to, hey, 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 there you go, all around. There we go, now it's all around. And you also get his little, uh, his little hood cannon here, which is done in silver. And you have to pop off this little panel right here, which can be a major pain in the butt to get off, but it is doable, just, it's just not easy, not, not too fun. Um, the way I did that so easily was because I didn't have it plugged in all the way. I actually just leave it, I leave it up a little bit so I can get a fingernail underneath it. If you push it down so it's totally flush, it's near impossible to get out. So, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. But Anyway, you just take this and you peg that in. And there you have the full look there. So now he can water ski and shoot. Hooray! It's a thing, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So there you have it for the vehicle mode. I think the vehicle mode is my favorite part of this toy. It's cool, I like it. Um, it does also have rubber tires as well, forgot to mention that, but yeah. Rubber tires as well, which adds a nice smooth roll. So smooth. Smooth, anyway. But yeah, like his little vehicle mode. So let's get down to a transformation, shall we? Let's. So let me raise up a little bit here so I got some rooms to operate. And we shall begin. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come down here. We have these panels that are just tabbed in right up in here. So you need to undo those. Undo those. And that will allow you to now extend this whole front section, which will be his legs. You can see they're on sliders here, so just extend all that out like so. And then you can just bring out this section here, which is going to be his waist and his crotch. Like that. And you're just going to split the front section here. So you can see there is a hook tab up front, so be careful how you do that. Make sure you just slide that up. And once you do that, you can now bring the legs down and we can now work on his feet so first thing you want to do here is you want to take this section of the hood and it will just shift over and down to the side like so this section here gets flipped up and then you can just bring the foot down this little section right here gets flipped up like that you then take the wheel and flip that down, oops, flip that down to the bottom of the foot, like so. This section right here will just swing down and this will tab in right up in there. I'll just go into a little notch. Now you just flip that back. And there you have a leg all done. Second pass, just like the fast. So you just bring that, bring that, bring, bring, bring. Come on, work with me, work with me. Yep. Okay, we'll move this first. Get this out of the way. That'll help. There we go. Bring that down. Bring the foot down. And we can swing that little bit up. Swing the wheel in. Swing that in. Swing that over. A lot of swinging. And there you go. One issue I have with mine is that the slider on this side is a little bit loose. So you'll probably see him droop to the side a couple times when I have him standing up. Um, this side is nice and snug, but this side a little bit loose. And there's no locking point for it either. There's no thoop. I would like the thoop, some kind of thoop. There's no thoopage whatsoever. It's just relying totally on friction. And on this side, there's not enough. And the steering wheel will probably pop out on you as well, which gets kind of annoying. Let's pop that back in. All right. So, and now that we've done that, we can just come here and just open up the doors, just bring them out like so. You want to take this whole rear section, it is on a slider, so you just want to take all this and just slide it back like that, and we will get started on the arms. So you want to untub this little section right here, and that will allow you to just take the arms, you going to swing the wheel in like so, and then swing this section out the rest of the way, like that. 
And now, to transform his forearm here, you take this section here, this will swing forward on a double hinge, this assembly will come up like so, and this little panel will come down. Make sure all this is sitting flush there. Then you take the seats, rotate around, bring that in, and there you have his forearm. All done. Second vest, just like the vest. Just untab that and just swing that wheel in and also bring the arm out and then just bring that down bring all this over bring all that over okay make sure all this sits right where it's supposed to which it is not come on there we go now you just rotate the seat and bring all that in and there you have the arms all done. These little bits right here you just want to take and you want to just flip them around like so. Once you do that, you want to come to this rear windshield here and you want to just pop this open. And this section here will just rotate around like that and that will make his backpack. And you can see we have his head right there. And now... We're going to take this whole assembly and we are going to just bring it. Actually, before we do that, before we get to that, we have to work on the doors. Almost forgot. You want to take this bottom section of the door here and just flip it up and bring all this in like so. And that's just going to sit in the body like that. So just flip that in and bring that in like so. And there we go. So now that we've done that, now we can take this section and we can bring it back and be careful with his head. Make sure it just gets through that opening with no problem. There we go. And once we get to a certain point, we can take this section here, just bring that up, and then we can bring this up like so. And we can just bring this down the rest of the way, and this whole assembly will slide down so everything sits nice and flush. And you can see there's a little, little tab right there. Just push that in, and the backpack will lock in right there. And, oops. There we go. Let's get, get all this sitting properly. Alrighty. Just leave that steering wheel down because if not, that'll get popped off by the backpack. And then these sections right here, the shoulders are on. You just bring those into the body. Swing his arms down. Swing the arms down. And I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. We we're done. And there you go. There you have Helion with his droopy leg. AKA Cliff Jumper in his robot mode. And he's not a bad looking cliff jumper. It's just, I don't know, his his proportions are kind of off and it just makes him look a little weird to me. But you know, that's that's just me. And of course he has the, the, the droopy leg. That sucks. I mean that could just very well be my copy, but it's just that's just annoying. Anyway. But let's get in close, not on his chest, but on that head sculpt. You can see it's a pretty nicely done head sculpt. Nice blue there for the eyes. Let's see. Everything looks pretty good. I like I do like how the uh, how the forearms transform. That's quite clever. Going down the body, down the legs, his droopy leg. <laughs> His feet, and just moving up the back, you can see. Not a whole lot of backpack going on, which I know some people will like very much. You, you droopy, you droopy little thing, you stop drooping, stop drooping! He likes to droop, he just wants to droop, he just wants to droop. But anyway, as far as articulation goes, the head can rotate, he can look up, he can look down, you have uh, actually a double hinge in there. So you can actually get a pretty wide range of movement there on the head. The arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. 
You have bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. So you have nice full range of movement there. You do have wrist rotation. You do have hands that can open and close. Uh, the index finger is a separate piece and the other three fingers are just one single piece. Uh, you do have waist rotation. You do have an ab crunch in there. Legs can go forwards that far, can go back that far. Outward, you can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, which is quite snug on mine. You have a little over 90 degrees of bend there out to the knee, and the feet can move up a little bit. They can move down some more, and you get a little bit of ankle tiltage there. Now, as far as weaponry goes, he does include some guns. You get this gun right here, which is done all in silver. It looks pretty good. You get this gun as well. And these do just tab right into his hands. It's the usual tab in the... Hey! Hey! It's the usual tab in the slot in the palm method of weapon holding. And, yeah, just tab it into his hand, wrap his fingers around it, and there you go. You can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang with his droopy leg. Stay. He does also include his big old bazooka here. Just done all in silver. The handle itself is on a hinge, so you can adjust that how you wish. The bipod is also adjustable as well, so you can have those angled however you wish. And of course, you can give him this as well. Got to straighten out his arm to get in his hand. And just plug that in like so. Just kind of get that angled. And you can have that on his shoulder like so. Hey, again, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. And the last thing that is included are some extra heads. So. You can see this head just has it's a you know serious face. You can also get this head right here, which has a bit more of a uh, bit more of a scowl going on there. And the heads are very easy to swap. You just pull this up, and they're just tabbed in. And you just take the new head and just pop that on like so. And there you go. Now. He has a little bit of a scowl. And the other head you get, him and his droopy leg. Stop drooping. You also get a burr face. Burr. Burr. So we can just pop this one on. Oops. Pop that one on. And now... He's angry cliff. Angry jumper. Grr. 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 Okay. So we'll just put on his regular face. Give me. Give, release. Release, I say. Release. Uh, and we'll just pop the regular head back on. And there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with Masterpiece Bumblebee. Just so you can see how they look together. So there you go. And for some other Ocular Max comparisons, uh, here he is with their cassette bots. Here he is with their Rumble, or Frenzy, whatever you want to call him. And here he is with their Ravage. So, there you have that. And here he is with the X Transbots Cliff Jumper. And me personally, I, I like the X Transbots version better. The Ocular Max version, like the proportions are just off, so it just makes him look weird. Like he just has like really thin arms for this big chest, and also his waist is just too thin and small for this chunky body. And he has a bit more waist than he should, and it just kind of elongates his body. And again, just, just makes him look weird proportion-wise. So I, I feel like the X-Transbots version just pulls the look off better. And yes, this one has the fake parts, this one has the huge backpack, but those things don't bother me one bit.
But I know that's what turns some people off to this version. So, I mean, hey, you like what you like. And I know there are people who are going to like the uh, Ocular Max version better. And hey, that's fine. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You like what you like. Just me personally, I, I like the X-Transbots version better. I think it pulls off the look better. So there you have the Ocular Max Helion. Um, again, like I said at the top of the video, I don't know how to feel about this guy. I mean, I don't think he's a bad figure. He's definitely not a bad figure. It's just the way they have him proportioned out just makes him look weird to me. Like, it's just, it's just off. He just looks off to me. The transformation, for the most part, is fairly smooth. So, you know, it's a pretty enjoyable process when it comes to transforming him. He can be a little bit fiddly, but just a little bit. But for the most part, an enjoyable transformation. Getting the hood piece popped out, if you want to use the hood gun, can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So, you know, that's the only thing that could have been uh, done a little bit better. You know, just maybe just cutting out a little notch you can get your fingernail into. Probably would have made a world of difference. So overall, it is a well-done figure, just not my favorite cliff jumper that I own. Um, honestly, like, if I could have this guy's vehicle mode with the X-Transbots robot mode, that would be the perfect cliff jumper for me, personally. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of Ocular Max's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Ocular Max Helion, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek, be proud, boom in your face. Get ready to crumble before rumble. <laughs> yeah, looks like rumble crumbled because he fumbled. So I'm going to go do a word jumble because those are just as fun as kicking Decepticons in the, in the, in the bumbles. Did somebody call me?